A strong warning coming from Pentagon against North Korea, saying a use of nuclear force by Pyongyang would mean the end of that regime. This in the wake of a Seoul-Washington tabletop exercise earlier. Our defense correspondent Wu Suyong reports. Washington says a North Korean nuclear attack on the United States or its allies would spell the end of the Kim Jong-un regime. The statement came on Friday, jointly released by Seoul and Washington following the Deterrent Strategy Committee's tabletop exercise, which was held at the Pentagon on Wednesday local time. Based on the hypothetical scenario of North Korea using nuclear weapons, the senior-level drill involved defense officials, military officers and diplomats discussing response capabilities and options for the Allies. They discussed how to leverage Seoul's non-nuclear capabilities to support Washington's extended deterrence promise of providing support for allies under nuclear or conventional attack. To prevent nuclear war, the U.S. said it would continue to maintain its capability to forward deploy strategic bombers, dual-capable fighter aircraft and nuclear weapons to the region. The two sides pledged to hold the tabletop exercise annually and visited the Kings Bay nuclear submarine base in Georgia as a show of unity and readiness to respond to Pyongyang's belligerence. In apparent protest of the exercise, North Korea claims it fired four Hasai-2 cruise missiles into the East Sea in the early hours of Thursday, which would have coincided with the tabletop exercise held in Washington. It also follows the Allies' joint anti-missile drill with Japan, held in the East Sea on Wednesday, which practiced tracking and intercepting incoming ballistic missiles. The North claimed that the missiles it fired on Thursday traveled 2,000 kilometers would indicate a range that covers U.S. bases in Japan. A South Korean military official told Arirang News that Seoul's surveillance assets were active when the North reportedly held its missile drill and the claims made by the North state media are being verified. The Joint Chiefs of Staff said there's a difference between the North's claim and what has been found by South Korean intelligence. Oh Arirang News.